And it's easy to take transportation for granted when most of us can get almost anywhere we want to go in a car. But for students who might come from families with lower incomes, a bike and a bus might be the best way to find some independence. You're going to practice it because if you don't practice, how will I really know that you understand? That's why teacher Andrew Killen led East High School's bike club in a ride to KCATA's facility a few miles away, navigating city streets, but also learning how they can use public transit to expand how far they can pedal. So we try to make it so that the students leave the program feeling confident that they can get to a lot of places in the city. And it works for students like senior David Din. Oh yeah, now that I have this, I will go right to City Market. I'll go to my friend's house. But to get David and his peers around town, the bike club gets donations from Bike Walk KC, Children's Mercy Hospital, and private donors. That lets the club give out bikes, locks, and helmets free of charge to students who might not get anything like them otherwise. When we look at kind of our school population, we know that they don't have the financial means for everybody to have a car for the kids. So we know that if we can get them on a bicycle, their opportunities increase. Opportunities for having fun, going to school, or going to work. All because of a bike and a little bit of knowledge. Because you're a good human, you're going to put the rack back up. Nice. All right, and now you go home. And Andrew says the key is showing those students how to ride a bike and then how to use that bike rack in front of the bus, too, when they're trying to do that all together. He says that's how they have a chance to see how it all works in a low pressure situation, and then they're much more likely to use it themselves along the actual bus routes. Pretty cool stuff, Carly.